Hey guys, in this tutorial, we're diving into the mystical world of Kinect setup for your Xbox 360 RGH console. So you just got your shiny new modded Xbox 360. Maybe you grabbed it from our website or maybe from someone else. Either way, you're here now and we're gonna get that Kinect working the way it's supposed to. You plug in your Kinect sensor, hyped and ready to break into a dance battle, and bam, error message. The console needs an update. Great, but don't panic. Don't smash it. Don't chuck it out the window like a frisbee. I got you. We're going to fix this together, step by step. Today, I'm going to walk you through two easy ways to get your Kinect up and dancing. No tech wizardry required. So grab a snack, buckle up, and let's fix this little drama queen of a sensor together. Let's get started. So, the first method is updating your console online. But hold up. You can't just jump online with a modded Xbox. If you do, Microsoft will swing the ban hammer faster than you can say RGH. That's why we use a stealth server, and in our case, we're rolling with XBGuard. Now, I already made a full video on how to set up XBGuard, so if you need a refresher, link would be in description. For now, let's quickly set up the plugins to enable your stealth server. If you bought your console from us, good news. The Dash Launch app is already pre-installed in the apps folder on your hard drive. So go ahead and open it up. Now, if you already have your stealth server files, let's set them up in the correct order, because if you mess this up, your console will freeze on the boot screen and nobody wants that headache. Here's the correct plugin order. Plugin one, xbdm.xex. Plugin two, always the stealth server, and plugin three will be jrpc2. Set those up carefully, hit the right bumper, choose your hard drive, press X to save, and you're all set. Now just reboot the console and we're good to go. All right, I just plugged the Kinect into the back of my console and it's booting up. And what do we have here? Yep, another message saying, Kinect requires an update. Totally normal, don't panic. Since we've already installed the Stealth server, we're in good shape. Just give it a few seconds to fully load. You'll know it's ready when you see those slick purple menus. That's how you know XBGuard Stealth server is active. Now let's head over to XBGuard dashboard. Go to File Manager, open the Flash folder, and launch dash.xex. This will take you straight into the XBGuard Stealth Server dashboard. And boom, what do we see? The system hits us with the Connect Update prompt. Go ahead and click Yes and let it do its thing. The update usually takes around 10 minutes, so grab a snack and let the console work its magic. Once the update is complete, the console will automatically restart itself. No need to press anything. And just like that, we're back on the Aurora dashboard. Now press the guide button, go to settings and select connect tuner. And look at that, the sensor is alive and working. All that's left is to run through the connect setup to fine tune things and you're pretty much ready to start waving at your Xbox like it owes you money. But just to be 100% sure everything's good, let's jump back into the XBGuard dashboard. And boom, the Kinect calibration screen pops up right away. That means the sensor is fully functional and ready to go. So that covers our first method, updating your Kinect online. It's quick, painless, and best of all, no consoles got fried in the process. The second method is all about downloading the Kinect update manually from the internet and applying it to your console using a USB stick. Perfect if you're not connected to a stealth server or just want to play it safe. Here's how to do it. Open up Google and search for Xbox RGH Connect Update. Scroll through the results until you find a site called digix.net. On the digix page, look for the update titled Xbox 360 System Update 17559. Click the download link and wait for the file to finish downloading. Once the download is complete, go ahead and open the archive and extract the system update folder to your desktop. You should now have a folder named $SystemUpdate, but we need to rename it to $$YSTEMUpdate. That's two dollar signs at the beginning. Next, plug in your USB stick. Make sure the USB is formatted to FAT32, not NTFS. The Xbox 360 only plays nice with FAT32. To format it, 
Right-click the USB drive in File Explorer, select Format, choose FAT32 as the file system, then click Start. Once it's done, just copy your newly renamed $$YSTEM update folder to the root of the USB stick, not inside any other folders. And just like that, your USB is ready for action. Now let's head back to the console. In my case, I'm working with a freshly set up Xbox 360, clean install of Aurora, freshly formatted hard drive, no games, no updates. It's a blank slate. Perfect for showing you how this manual connect update works from scratch. All right, now I'm gonna insert the USB stick we prepared earlier into the back of the console. Then I'll head over to the retail dashboard. As you can see, there's no stealth server running here just the regular stock dashboard. Now give it a moment, usually around 10 to 20 seconds, and you should see an update prompt pop up on the screen. It looks very similar to the one we saw earlier with the XB Guard dashboard. Go ahead and click yes, and the console will begin installing the updates directly from the USB stick. Good news, this method is usually much faster than updating through a stealth server, since all the update files are already on the USB no need to download anything online. Just sit back, let it do its thing, and we'll be almost done. Now the console will reboot itself, and at this point, all the updates should be fully applied. So let's plug the connect back in and see if it's working. And look at that, it's detected and ready for action. Just to be 100% sure everything's running as it should, let's jump back into the retail dashboard one more time. And yep, the Connect Setup screen pops up instantly. From here, all you need to do is set up your Connect in your room, run the calibration, and you're good to go. And that's it, my friends. Two easy methods to get Connect up and running on your RGH Xbox 360 console. If this video helped you out, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and console tips. And if you're looking to get your hands on a custom Xbox 360 RGH console, visit our website. We offer free shipping across the US and Canada, and we also ship worldwide. Just contact us for a quote on international shipping. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.